So right now we're going to be raiding player 9408 and I've done a little bit of research on this base already and it looks like and I took enough hatchet. So this dude is going to have this amount of chests plus I do know that we could maybe use a C4 on this wall. Okay, well, let's activate the healing skill. Let's activate the sprint skill. And now I will definitely do here a quick circle and look at how many zombies there are. I will freaking spread shot all of these brains out. Oh my god. Ah. Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's me, Epsarka. Welcome back to Last of Earth Survival. So right now on your screen, you can see another sneak peek from Last of Earth Survival developers that I forgot to mention a couple of videos ago. I wanted to show it in that video, but I somehow forgot to include it. And from what you can see, there is a guy in the Sector 7 and he can wave his shield and attack. But the most important part about this and why I'm even showing it here, it's because we will be able to aim this shield. And you might ask me, well, what's so interesting about that? Blah, blah, blah. And from what I know, the only items here in this game that you can aim are going to be grenades because every other item that we use here in the game, including AKs, including blocks and every everything else, we just have to one tap it and that's it. Everything else becomes automatically besides those grenades. So I am really glad that they are adding here more things to last the earth where we'll be able to manually aim. Because in my opinion, when player versus player comes out and we won't have these manually aimable items, it's going to be a pretty trashy player versus player experience. Because just imagine that yourself. You'll just have to click and hold one button to attack. I mean, where's skill in that? I don't believe it's going to be really that pleasant. And that's what I've been talking about like a few months ago that we will need some sort of skillful new aspects to the game game if we want to have player versus player and apparently that's what they are going to be adding here as you can see you'll be able to aim that shield and it's already more skillful than just tapping one button so I'm very very excited about that to see him coming there and plus there's something else close to that revolver I literally have zero idea what it's supposed to be but it's some sort of other button for the skills well I don't know what is your opinion about that shield because definitely they are working on it and they said themselves that there will be a lot of pvp in one of their interviews so I believe that it's going to come out one day so let's just wait and hopefully it's gonna be cool and I don't think that it's gonna be only one shielded item I believe that they are gonna wait they are gonna add way way more items in player versus player locations that it will be really really interesting so also let's go to this anniversary event because there's still 12 hours left 11 hours and 34 minutes is the same and I want to see if there is still something else to do here because yesterday we got our flower pot with two year anniversary thingy the plant whatever you want to call it and it's done I just want to see if we have anything else here I believe that that everything is done and okay people are gathered together i'm so glad to see all of you guys uh, i wonder i have lasted for two years cheers to that probably gonna misread something here Zzz, okay somebody's sleeping there probably our specialist oh my god looks like it's time to go home no don't leave me oh my god this is so cool that tom is playing on the guitar oh my god this place is so amazing all of them are just staying here they're square saying goodbye to them man this is cool this is definitely a cool place like please developers leave this location let all of these people be here together like you know what i'm just thinking here about right like sometimes i get these like 500 aq ideas you know like if it would be really cool like maybe every sunday right or every saturday there would be like evenings and all of these characters would be gathering in this one location and something cool would be happening like all of these players all of these ais right they don't have to and npcs they don't have to stay in this one location all the time it would be really cool let's say if every uh, saturday and sunday they would gather here together to do some crazy stuff and we would get some crazy task. I don't. I think it would be so awesome. It would bring this game to life so much. And I don't know. Like I said, like sometimes I just get hit up by these 500 IQ ideas. <laughs> Whatever. But all jokes aside, I can't probably open that box up and it's totally empty. Exactly. Everything is done. Can't do anything else. This brewery. Maybe this brewer will, will come back. I don't know. No more rewards made. Seriously, nothing else. But in any case, I believe that developers know that there is something up to this location. I believe we will see these characters once again. I mean, they didn't remove Tom, even though that we saw Tom probably last time, like last year. So, well, I just love this location and hopefully it's going to stay somehow, some way in some sort of a form. And I just called out Raiders once again. So we most likely are going to be doing the raid today. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but I literally recycled here maybe like 70 batteries. Now, if not even more of like around 100 batteries and I didn't get a single copper bar. Like, I don't understand. Is there a mistake with it or something? I, I don't understand what's up with my recycler. So now I'm at Jennifer's garage and we have to give her all of these wheels, right? Let's give all of that. And now let's check how many boxes do I have now three boxes already so I don't have to give her too much let's just give her like you know maybe like 10 engine parts I believe that's too much but hey let's give that I just gotta get those five boxes boy here we go we got them exactly five boxes let's open that up let's repair my chopper and now I think we'll go and kill 15 toxic abominations so I'm at the oak 
Grove location and I already killed here one toxic abomination. This is going to be that red oak zone. You know what? Let's have some fun. Now I'm gonna take a shotgun. Bada bingus, it's in my inventory. So I'll start driving around this place and maybe maybe I'll be able to gather a lot of zombies and then I'll just spread shot them. So here we go. Let's try to do this. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work that much because I just got stuck in the first chest that I saw. That's not good. This is seriously ain't good, mate. So far, zero toxic abomination. So, okay, only one toxic abomb. Doesn't really look as a good deal. But you know what? Let's get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, mate. Gonna activate the sprint skill. Definitely gonna run around the place. Okay, more zombies are coming in. And Cyric, are you gonna use your spread shot? Yes, we're gonna spread shot all of these zombies at once. Die! Ha! Definitely was a great value, man. Whatever, let's finish them off with AK very quickly. So I'm back once again in another location. So let's try to have some fun once again. Gonna go sit on my chopper and gonna do one quick loop and I have no idea who's punching around here but whatever let's go let's gather as many zombies as possible I'm not sure if you can hear that but there's a lot of banging going on I'm um, no don't exit the zone here we go didn't exit the zone very cool very cool let's just go like this okay I just want to aggro more zombies and so far I really don't see anybody else like it's kind of weird like what is this location without zombies here we go aggroed more zamboozles here we go toxic abomination and I believe that this is gonna be the place where I will exit my chopper here we go let's exit that I will definitely hear active most likely now my sprint skill and everything and healing skill because I have it already here Let's activate the healing skill. Let's activate the sprint skill and now I will definitely do here a quick circle and look at how many zombies there are I will freaking spread shot all of these brains out. Oh my god Ah, so good and now there's just a lot of bunch of huge zombies I think I'm just gonna go and kill them uh, with spread shot here as well Just gonna keep running around the circle and that's it I'm gonna save a lot of and a lot of weapons like this is another great way to clear uh, uh, Zones if you have let's say some sort of grenades because that's definitely gonna work with grenades as well So I think I think it's time for me to exit my chopper probably here we're gonna exit the chopper somewhere over here no dude okay I, I, I got out of the chopper here no man why the freak are you going oh my god I don't know guys but he seriously just was stuck in one place I don't understand why does he do this I didn't I don't deserve this I deserve better than that okay so I believe that soon soon right I'm gonna be stripped naked if I don't use my spread shot sooner so I definitely gotta go a bit and let's try to spread shot them. Didn't spread shot most of them as I wanted to, but hey. I think now I'm just, I'll just keep walking around and hopefully and get to keep my fingers crossed that I'm not gonna get naked because if I get naked, that'll be a bit sad. But whatever, here goes. 75% done on my spread shot and I'll spread shot them once again and then finish them all with AK. And I think I've already almost leveled up by half. So here we go. Gonna do over here. Spread shot. Ah, super good and I'm totally naked now. So here we go. Let's finish them off with AK. Here we go. They're all dead. Now let's just loot. Let's take patches. Well, oh boy. Who would have thought we get back to the base and we're gonna do now a revenge raid first so right now We're gonna be raiding player 9408 and I've done a little bit of research on this base already And it looks like I'll just have to use 1c4 So let's just up inside of the base and let's see what kind of loot are we gonna get because I have zero clue if that 1c4 Is gonna be worth it or no and hopefully it's even the same base that I've seen on YouTube Because again for those who don't know how to do research just go on YouTube type LDOE raid in whatever base you want to find and If somebody made a video on it, you should be able to find that video So whatever let's check out his truck and his truck is gonna have one cleaver So it looks like he did didn't even loot his truck since the beginning of the game since he started it and probably it's a different base on YouTube than I've seen it is a different base man well here we go I just actually rechecked the base and this is where I'll have to place my c4 hopefully I'm not gonna mess this up here we go let's place that let's escape hopefully I'm gonna blast the right chests and exactly everything is fine and the first wave of zombies has just spawned and again I still don't know what kind of loot we're gonna get here so this is always a surprise and uh, yeah and from what I see is that he's not gonna have a lot of and a lot of chests inside of the base so that's always disappointing me like these kind of bases aren't really interesting interesting to raid like what I really really love to raid is when bases has a lot of level one walls like it's they, they're pretty interesting to raid they are more hard to get into because there's more chests but it's always more interesting to raid bases like this like it's it's not really fun to explode just one wall and get a lot of chests inside like it's not really that satisfying but whatever let's take a couple of engine parts couple of wheels and I think I'm gonna damage all of these chests with three hits so all of these chests now are just one hit away from being destroyed. So let's try to destroy this trunk. And inside we got some wood. Definitely let's stack that. And always, whenever I use here 1c4, like I definitely have to get here a bit better loot rather than nothing. And from that window, I'm trying to see if there's any more chests. And it looks like there's no more chests. So I'm not even going to be exploding that. And I got two guns and one electronic circuit. Some might go nuts for that. But again, I used c4 and 1c4 is more expensive than these guns. So it's not worth it at all. Okay, let's try to chop down this chest. Totally empty. Are you kidding me? And another wave of zombies have just spawned. And from what it looks like it might be a really really crappy raid but i mean whatever let's just deal with this and another trunk is totally empty as well let's destroy this one and it's 
Just one iron plate? Are you kidding me? You know what? We're gonna destroy that trunk uh, at the end. Plus, I'm gonna destroy his workbenches. But now, let's at least fill up my chopper. This is a really disappointing raid, man. I don't understand. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Using 1c4 for this, this base is gonna get, like, a negative score. I think this is gonna be first raid that gets a negative score. And I do know that there's gonna be that one guy. Oh my god, sir, you got some guns. Why are you upset about this? You don't appreciate it. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to say about it. So far, really, really garbage. Zero raid. Okay, inside of this trunk, we got totally nothing. So you want to tell me that I've literally chopped down all the trunks and I've got nothing, baby. So this is the raid that I got. Like, you know, how can you rate it good? Okay, whatever. We're going to definitely chop down these workbenches. But he has only one woodworking bench. So, you know what? Just got to chop it down. Got to take the wood if he had any. Let's take that. And that's it. Totally. Everything is empty, right? Got to exit the base now. Okay, I just got stuck. I'm not even going to be fighting them because it's just going to waste my Glock. Well, probably most likely we're going to go for another raid, but this raid seriously going to get a zero, like negative one, mate. This base gets a negative one. But it kind of feels bad to give these bases negative one because when you give them a zero, it feels like it's a crappier base than when you give negative one, at least by word. So this base gets a zero. Well, right now we're going to be raiding another player. Okay, didn't take a chopper. God dang us. So right now we will be raiding another player 60, 75. And by the looks of it, there are multiple versions of this base on YouTube, so you know what? The best way to rate it would be just jumping inside and checking out what kind of things are we gonna get. Wait, please tell me that I still have some sort of durability on my SWAT armor because I didn't check it. I didn't check that. I might be a total doo-doo idiot. And by the looks of it, I still got, have a good SWAT armor, so that's fine. I have enough guns, and is it like full metal base? Yes, this is full like, not metal base, but full stone base. So by the looks of it, this is going to be a pretty big base, but again, zero idea what are we gonna get, so let's just place here C4 and we'll see. We'll see hopefully these uh, whatever they're called, zombies aren't gonna make too much noise and the big one isn't gonna spawn and I took another hatchet. So this dude is gonna have this amount of chests plus. I do know that we could maybe use a C4 on this wall, but I am a bit scared as I'm not sure what are we gonna get there. So you know what? I don't think I will be testing that out. I don't think I'll be placing my C4 over there, but I will damage all of these chests with three hits. So let's get to work. So here we go, all of these chests are just one hit away and I definitely used a lot of and a lot of hatchets to damage all of these chests. Even a wave of zombies have spawned, what? Well, so far at least these zombies aren't making any noises on that noise trap or whatever that's called, wire trap, so that's cool. So I think we will start chopping these chests down and I'm not sure if the big one will spawn. But whatever, inside of the first chest, we already got some planks and some iron. Like this raid is already a bit better than the previous one because I mean, it's not better, but at least it looks as it might be a better raid, whatever. So far we chopped down a couple of chests and we got some more wood, babe baby looks definitely okay okay pretty promising pretty promising at least i'll be able to fill up my inventory uh, maybe okay whatever let's eat this let's take some thick cloth let's take some leather and another wave of zombies have just spawned so let's just shred them in any case if the big one spawns or it doesn't or he doesn't spawn i'm still gonna be able to open up all of these chests so that's what's the fun uh, so uh, that's the fun part about opening them up and exactly the big one is gonna spawn that's for sure whatever i think i'm gonna chop down one more chest and i think i'll chop down one more and uh, we got some more iron and i think one more wave have spawned we're gonna kill them and then I'm gonna fill up my chopper and I think we'll have to definitely annoy the big one a little bit because he's gonna spawn after like chopping down two more chests and we still have like how many four chests left so we just gotta be careful. Would be cool to use a couple of more C4s and see what I would get inside of these uh, rooms but again as you know C4s are super super expensive and it's not that worth it. Whatever let's get to the chopper now and let's fill that out with wood because I don't think we're gonna get there anything better. And also I'll get rid of my 13 empty bottles because I took them in order to steal some gas if he's gonna have a chopper, but this dude didn't have a chopper. So you know what? So let's give him those bottles. And I think there isn't many things to take. I think I might take the patches to craft a couple of bandages outside the map, but we're gonna do that at the very end. Okay, the big one is literally probably gonna spawn after the second chest. So let's take some gasoline, some of that. That's for sure. Here we go, chopping the down. Okay, still the big one didn't spawn. I still have two extra chests to destroy. And did I take everything? Like, it looks like he's not gonna have anything else. Okay, so more leather. Let's take that. I mean, three wrenches. Let's take it. Doesn't look like he'll have something better. Well, I have no idea what are we gonna do. I will also get rid of now my food. And uh, I mean, one chest. And inside we got katana. Okay, that will be a harder chest to take. And another one. The big one is inside and we got nothing. You know what? You know what? My man, my man. I think I took everything 
didn't I? Or didn't I? I don't know. That's exactly. I don't think I took everything. So while I'm outside of the map, let's craft those bandages with the patches, just like we said. So I was able to craft 16 bandages. Not super a lot. Not something super wow, 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 but better than nothing. Now I'm going to jump back inside of the base and I'll try to loot that chest because by the looks of it, he had something else over there. Maybe something more useful. And I just panicked and I couldn't see it. So let's now activate the sprint skill. Now I'll try to come back inside of the base. And of course, the big one is already coming after me. And inside of this chest, we got nothing inside of this chest. Some more tickets, I believe. Let's take this. I'm out of here, baby. I'm out of here. Doesn't look like there's anything else. The big one just appeared. I'm exiting the base. So you know what? Gameplay. I mean, the big one is still chasing me and I'm already raiding the base. The gameplay wise, it is going to get a five because I had to use only one C4 and then I accessed all the chests. But again, we got, we got to taunt the big one a little bit. I got to craft a couple of bandages. So that's what's fun about that. And loot wise, let's give this base a six maybe. So overall score of this base is going to be 5.5. I'm not sure if that's a great rating. I'm not sure if you like it or not, but I would say that it's... It deserves that 5.5 it seems like a perfect rating and at the same time if you don't agree with the rating it's just a number there's no point to be mad about that make sure to check out this life after video where i got a bunch of new armor and stuff like that just click here on the first card and you'll go check the way there click here on the second card and you'll watch a recommended video just for you and i'm uploading such videos on youtube every single day so make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos also guys drop that like button while we're at it and peace 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 out mm -hmm. yep